Oh, welcome back. Uh, it's Craig from Parco's Fishing, FNQ. Um, yeah, we're just uh, out on the river today, just to have a bit of a, um, see if we can get some crabs maybe, or um, yeah, anything really, just get out. And I've done some more modifications to the, um, the cover plate over the transducer for the Garmin, the GT51. So do some more testing on that. And um, yeah, we'll um, see how we go. So stay tuned, cheers. We've got all the uh, pots all set up now. Um, yeah, name tags on the on the tops and and also on the floats. So just try and find some quiet water because it's such a big tide tonight uh, today. Sorry. Um, so yeah, we'll just um, find some quiet water ish, um, something that's still got a little bit of run, but um, yeah, and see if we can snag a crab or two. So anyway, stay tuned. Cheers. Yeah, so we're um, we're just out at the. Like as you go out the river, so we're just having a bit of a troll, and, and um, but yeah, it's pretty pretty rough just in the mouth here, so I don't think it'd be a uh, real flash offshore. So anyway, we're just um, having a troll in this brown water and uh, trawled out nicely, slot nice and slow, and same on the way back in. Um, we're only like doing 0.8 of a knot um, purely because of what's getting pushed out of the river, opposed to us moving forward. So. Um, but the lures are working nicely, so we'll just um, see. It's probably not my preferred method, um, just because as the water's going out, the fish should be um, facing upstream and waiting for the for the small um, fish to come by as they head out the river mouth and then snag them that way. So that's why I like trawling. Um, when the tide's going out the river, I'll trawl down and out through the mouth sort of thing. So but anyway, we'll see how we go. So. Anyway, we'll uh, talk to you a bit later. Cheers. See ya. We're all coming up to our first pot here, so it's fairly, fairly racing. So yeah. Anyway, we'll um, see how we go. Move that pot to another spot and check these other ones. All right, we'll get yeah, back to pulled up that other one then, but uh, nothing in that either. So we've only left them in for an hour or two, so well, a bit over an hour, hour and a half, so because um, of the big tides. So and I threw them in when the, on the outgoing tide, so yeah. one either. Oh well, try one more. Yeah, so I just didn't want them to be high and dry when I came in to pick them up with the tide going down, so. One little buck. It looks like he's going to be a Gabe's backer though. I'll just get out here a bit more and show you. But yeah, you can see him in there, so he's definitely not size, I don't think. So anyway, we'll check him and go from there. Ah. 
a good sign anyway. Stay there, but Yeah, definitely not size as you can see, so it's probably about 10 mil under. So we'll um, put him back. Get back to you. Cheers. Yeah, so we just got that um that one crab there, so he was like 10 mil under size, so he went back, as you've seen, and um yeah, so I just deleted those spots where I put my crab pots and then I'll just move up and see where I can find some more spots and chuck them in for another hour or so um and see what happens. So yeah, anyway, stay tuned. Cheers though. Eh? Yeah. Valley. going forward because I've got the, that other rod out. There's a heap of fish aggregated on the bottom as well, so... Um, yeah, didn't really see them up on the top, but... Oh no, it's a little barrel. <laughs> and he just dropped it then. Oh dear, oh well. Cool. That's good. Anyway, sorry didn't get uh, to see it there, but anyway, he was um, undersized. Anyway, but yeah, how cool is that? Lovely. That was just on one of those Reedy's fish snacks. So, oh yeah, there's heaps up around the one metre sort of mark, so I was only sitting on about 1.8 knots, so nice and slow. Alright, we'll get back to you. Cheers. Yeah, so that's what happens when you've been, I was mucking around with the sounder, haven't zoomed in on things and what have you um, on the structure scan, so, and uh, yeah. Missed the bite on that little barra, but yeah, good to um, good to get one foot well, close to the boat. Didn't get it on board, but yeah, he did a self release, so that's um, probably the well, first barra I've caught in years to be quite honest. So, but yeah, cool, no dramas. We'll get back to you over here. So, with the big tides, it's gone up into the mangroves and then um, just coming, yeah, out of the mangroves. So that's a good um, fish attracting as well as got a, a little trip just going up the side and you can see all the bait jumping around so there'll be certainly um, a barrow sitting in there I'm not a big one for flicking for fish but I will if it's see if there's heaps around but yeah so uh, anyway Right, talk to you later. We've got a Jenny in this one. Oops. As you can see. So yeah. We'll um get her out back in the water again. So cool. Alright, we'll talk to you a bit later. Decent size Jenny. But yeah, you can't keep them in Queensland, so yeah. She's going back in. We've got three in this one. I don't think they're size either, but it's a good start get away from these mangroves and I'll be one decent one in there yeah can you see that I think that fella there yeah he's a buck I think he might be this the keeper Here's 
Schön. Yep, so here's a key for that one. So we'll keep that one and the other two will let go. We've got a feed of crabs. three, four, so five so far for today. One keeper out of five. That's uh, two jennies, three bucks. All right, I'll talk to you a bit later. So yeah, we're just uh, trying a bit of bait fishing um, just with prawns and uh, small um, 3 over hooks, circle hooks, and just a, um, a bean sinker, uh, running bean sinker, so we'll see what happens. Um, I've caught Grunter here as well, so we're just on the edge of the current line. So tide's coming right up to the bottom. So at the moment. So yeah. Anyway, cool. All right, the lovely Daintree River. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Got one on here, so not quite sure what it is. Oh. Pull the hook. Bugger. Never mind. What about the other again? That was just on a bit of prawn and yeah, only using small hooks, trio, so yeah, anyway. Try again. Under one ear. Only a little rod, so only got 20 pound on it. Come on. Come to Uncle Parksy. So that was just a bit, bit of barley and um, prawns and I just used a bit of um, a few pill pillies just to just to belly it up.
Trevally. Try and get the hook out and let him go. Cheers. Got another one on here. Must be on the um, current mine as it's coming through and heading up the up the creek. Wonder what this one is. Himself again. Yeah, nice jump on fish or a grunter. So, what are they going to be? Silver grunter. Silver javelin fish, 30. Small spot grunter. So, he is. Real good, mate. He is 45. So he's a goes in her. Happy days. First legal one I've caught on the river, so we'll um we'll put him in the esky, fill it him up. Cheers. A lot bite at the moment. Got another one on here. What it is, yeah. Upstream, this one. So like I said they're only small um, brim rods. I used to have in Perth. The 20 20 pound braid, and I'm just run a 40 pound leader on them. We just wear this one out. Oh, come on, stay away from the snag. Feels 
like a decent fish anyway. snag right underneath us. Stingray. Little leopard ray. Come on. Ray. So we let that bastard go. Oh, anyway. Talk to you a bit later. Yeah, on to something here. Oh, oh no, it's still there. Might be another Trevally, I think. Oh no. Oh, it's a grunter. He's a goes backer. That's all right. We're doing well. And that's three, four, three grunters so far. We'll get that look at you, mate. Hold on. Yeah. Beautiful looking fish. And we'll put him back. Yeah. He's gone ski. No worries. Cheers. We'll get back to you when we onto another one. Well, that wasn't long. So it's here, look at that. It's like an angel fish. Or some description. So we'll get him off. He sucked it down a bit, so hopefully he hasn't done too much damage. Alright, we'll talk to you soon. On to another one here. Look at that one. Yeah, boy. Easy goes, isn't it? Nice one. We'll get back to you. So, yeah, he went 48, that one. So, yeah, we'll cook him up for dinner tonight, probably, I'd say. Lovely.
I'll get back. The last check of the pots, we'll pull them in now. So. little one will get out of the road let him go just a little buck get back to you when we get the next another sm another small one in there small buck by the looks so here he goes back up all right we'll get back to you yeah well, that probably um concludes our day i pulled up all the crab pots so um just had the one buck in there and a, actually two bucks um in two separate pots um so yeah in conclusion for today we ended up with um with a barra which I dropped beside the boat. It was only a small one, so it would have only been about 50 maybe. And um, and then we ended up with three grunter that we took home. Uh, one nice crab, which was um, probably about three, four mil oversize, so that was good. And then um, ended up with yeah various amounts of other other fish, a stingray, and a few other bits and pieces. But that's what you get when you when you're bait fishing. Um, and just sitting and fishing the current lines and fishing the tides so that was just um, over the low tide um, when I was bait fishing so but anyway no dramas thanks for watching and um, remember to subscribe and like and we'll um, talk to you soon cheers mate thank you